in my videos, I'm usually playing Call of Duty or some video game while I'm doing this, but today I really don't feel like I should because it's no secret that Activision is one of the most cartoonishly evil game production companies out there right now. Whether it's just making dishonest decisions, malicious decisions, greedy decisions, or just being outright horrific assault cases and just misconduct cases that were being handled by the state of California, what was it, like a year or two ago? I don't remember, time's an illusion. Nonetheless, if there's a bad decision to be made, Activision's doing it, baby. What I really wanna focus on today is a Call of Duty side of things, because as we know, over the last couple years, Call of Duty has just evolved into a money-hungry cash grab. So with that being said, with how terrible Call of Duty has felt lately, uh, people wanna go back and play the old games, relive the old glory days of Modern Warfare 2 game chat, baby. I'm talking OG Mountain Dew and Doritos Modern Warfare 2. Terminal, sub-base, intervention, type shit. But there's a problem here. You can't really relive those glory days because the Xbox 360 and the PS3 console servers aren't really populated anymore and the little population they do have are Cheeto finger gremlin hackers trying to steal your IP address to, I don't know, find pictures of your mom to beat there. So it's really just not safe and it's a waste of time to try to play old Call of Duties on console. So what people started doing, they started playing Call of Duty on PC using Steam. So you can get Black Ops 3, Call of Duty 4, Modern Warfare 2, all these things. The only problem with this is, again, it's just really unsecure. You can get hacked. So people can just kind of take all your information and take your credit card to the gas station to buy Natty Daddies all day. So now you're in crippling debt with a 240 credit score and you can't afford a box to live in. More realistically, they find your Twitter DMs with you and your Discord kitten. All of these issues drove people that really love the heart and soul of Call of Duty, or at least what Call of Duty once was, it drove them to create third-party clients, such as Plutonium, X Labs, the BO3 client, boy, uh, and even to create a game like COD Mobile or COD Online where they just mashed every amazing part of Call of Duty into one thing into their own Call of Duty game called SM2. And as you know, a couple days ago, SM2 got yeeted into the ground, just sent straight to hell, or actually heaven where it deserves to go. God rest its soul. When Activision sent them a cease and desist letter, technically Activision isn't within their legal rights to do but the only reason this is happening, the only reason people are taking two years out of their life to create a Call of Duty behemoth is because Activision won't do it. They've had so many chances to create the best Call of Duty in existence. Just straight up call it Call of Duty, baby. They Add the baby in there. Fuck it. Because it's the baby of every Call of Duty. Add the intervention, the DSR, add the ACR, add the MP5 from whatever, the, the best shit from every Call of Duty game into one, and then you can add your $25 bundles. I don't give a fuck. Just give us old Call of Duty and we're chilling. We're supreme. We're fantastic, baby. Also, they never have to make another Call of Duty again. They can just update it and just shove DLC down our throat of just remade stuff instead of you know, giving us Modern Warfare 2 and not giving us Terminal for some reason? We've gotten shipment for the last 15 years, give us Terminal. I'm not even a fan of the map, like it's, Terminal's okay, but like, it's iconic to MW2. We could have all these things, we could have what Call of Duty is meant to be, but then Activision wouldn't get their sweet, sweet yearly premium, baby. They wouldn't get that 70 bucks a year from my dumbass who's too addicted. But SM2 wasn't the end of it. SM2 was just the start of the absolute tear, the rampage that Activision's about to go on. Today, we received news that X Labs also got shut down. They got a cease and desist letter, which when I woke up and saw it, I thought it was just a meme because it's literally the same tweet as SM2, but it's not, it's real. Oh, by the way, I forgot to mention, X Labs was basically a third-party client for old Call of Duties that is way more secure, way more customizable, and just overall better. So, and then the boy client has also gotten shut down with the cease and desist letter. The only one we have left is Plutonium right now. It's the only project, it's the OG project for these old Call of Duties, at least to my knowledge. Um, and it's the last one standing. We're talking about like IW4X, IW5, IW6, COD4, MW2, Black Ops 2, all those old games running on this client. I've made a ton of videos on all of these clients, mainly Plutonium though. Uh, most of my BO2 videos over the last two or three years have been Plutonium. I will say like 80% of this is Activision wanting their players to flock to their new games so they can, you know, keep suckling the tea of the consumer and just make us pay more money every year, which by the way, we will never fucking do. The only thing this made me want to do is never play Call of Duty again. Even on Steam, Black Ops 2, fuck, I don't want to. Like, why would I want to play your game? Today was supposed to be a Cold War video, by the way. It was supposed to be a fun Cold War video, and I just don't want to do it. 
I don't even want to give them my number. Like, I don't... That's, hey, babe, let me give you... No. Uh, like, I don't want to give them that analytic that says, Hey, we have one more player playing our game now. Now give us more money, investors. No, fuck you. I think 20% of this... I think part of it comes down to, like, SM2 and X-Labs kind of projecting that you don't actually have to buy these Call of Duty games to play them, which is not good. You should. But you, like, they're telling people, hey, just torrent the game and get them for free. So that's part of why Activision is well within their legal rights to tell them to shut it down. But I don't care. I want to play old Call of Duty and Activision just isn't giving it to us. I'm just waiting for X Defiant to come out because X Defiant shows that a big producer can actually interact with their fan base. Just like Plutonium has, just like the Boy Client has, just like X Labs, just like SM2. Activision is so weirdly entitled and they feel like they have a god complex or something like oh you could never understand how our game works the supreme overlords understand and you're just our little peasant you're our little guinea pigs playing this piece of shit fucking game there's so much to talk about with this so much to bitch about so much negativity uh but the positive aspect of this is it literally just gives x defiant better footing to launch their game call of duty is gonna be driven right into the fucking ground if they keep making these decisions at least i hope who knows knows you can't kill a call of duty in one year you just can't they're like a toilet that hasn't been flushed in 30 years you're not gonna get all the shit out at once you gotta slowly let it just you know deteriorate that's disgusting i'm so not happy i came up with that analogy gross anyway yeah this this was kind of like a moist critical style video or paying Ch a charlie kind of video just because it, it felt the most fitting I wish he would make a video on this anyway activision still sucks on a positive note again x defiant Hopefully soon. I hope you guys have a great day. It's been worse. See you next time.